This is India, a land that carved itself an identity with unmatched biodiversity. In a little over three minutes, we are about to explore a rare jewel nestled in the beautiful mountains and valleys of Western Ghats. The Ghats took birth 150 million years ago, supports tens of thousands of species of flora and fauna many unknown to science. Some choose the garden of canopy and others live under its protective care. The lives that these denizens of our jungles lead are astonishingly diverse. Some beatbox through the night. Others kickbox. Some others slither. The lucky ones glide, well, almost. On one of my expeditions, I chanced upon an emerald green frog, sculpted to mathematical perfection, sculpted to take the next leap. Malabar gliding frogs belongs to a family of old world tree frogs. With a slender body measuring 10 centimeters in length, green on top and a pattern underside matched with equally attractive orange red colored webbing, our character definitely stands out. And the stage is set when monsoon comes calling to live up to their name. Before they begin the chorus of beatboxing, they descend from their treetop perch. And there lies their penchant for parachuting. Here I have with me stone in one hand and a paper glider in the other. We know that all objects, irrespective of their mass, will drop down at exactly the same time if they were to be dropped from the same height. But that only if it is not going to be dragged by air. And this stone will effortlessly fall, while this glider has all the properties to gracefully cut through air. Pioneering work by Professor Mimi Cole and her students has led to the conclusion that evolution has favoured manoeuvrability over aerodynamic stability. Precisely when and how did these frogs learn to glide? Does figure help them take to air or the liking for adventure bless them with their morphology? We will have to wait for answers, should we? For now, let us glide with our friends and croak happily. <laughs> 